All right, I'm coming at you guys with my 25 millimeter um, f1.7 lens. That's why you're so uh, close up to me right now. So I apologize for that, even though you're at arm's length. Uh, but I just don't have a better lens really that can do that in this kind of lighting. The lighting is not going to be that great for this video because I'm going to be taking you guys around my setup back here and kind of give you an update on um, just how everything is working out from the chair the monitor, the lens, the lens, <laughs> from the chair, the monitor, the mouse, all that kind of stuff. How's it working out for me? Let's get into it. Okay, first things first is actually in, back here in the corner. Um, you guys have been seeing this poster a lot more, and this is indeed my Sephiroth. I've had this poster for years, but I've never, I never really get a chance to hang it up depending on where I'm living. So I actually got a chance to hang it up now. And so you're going to see him a lot more just hanging out in the background, blurred out, but he's there. And over here, obviously, is a uh, custom artwork from my dear friend. Um, watch the channel all the time. And he gave me this for my birthday, actually, I think it was. Pretty cool piece of artwork and I have it hanging up again. I don't get a chance to hang art a lot, but I do. You, you guys don't see this one as much, but it's pretty cool. Now, this here is my setup that you guys see all the time. You see it's a little bit different from the last time uh, we talked about it. So first things first, uh, the review on the chair. So you guys know we did this whole um, chair review, and it's still working out just fine. Um, it's it's creaks more now, obviously, but you can see the materials of the chair obviously is going to creak. So, um, but all the same, the point of it and what it's supposed to be doing, it still does, which is, you know, <laughs> keeping my back from crying. So. That's good. I'm trying to stand up a lot more. I'm actually going to be making some changes to this setup. More changes. I, I'm making changes all the time, but I'm actually going to make it make this a stand up desk. So I'm going to get a frame in here and put this whole thing on it so that it can start going up and down. And that's something that I'm not sure when I'll be able to do that, but hopefully in the near future, because there's other things that's happening too. Now, here we have uh, the keyboard. The Logitech G613, love the keyboard, it's awesome. Um, I do notice now that I've really been typing on it, really been using it all the time, um, if you listen very, very closely, if it's quiet enough, you can hear the springs in the keyboard, but you have to really be paying attention to that. But other than that, I still love it, types well, it's awesome. Uh, and of course, finally, when it comes to the mouse, you guys have been asking me a lot. <laughs> About this mouse, about the uh, the Razer Ultimate, and if it is double clicking, will my camera focus today? Can you do it? Can you do it? A little bit. There we go. So you've been asking me about the Razer Ultimate. It is not double clicking. Um, it is still working perfectly. Love it to death um, as far as a mouse goes. I will stand by what I said before that the Basilisk uh, Hyperspeed is my mouse of choice, but nothing I can do about that now. This mouse was great, works great for gaming, works great for work as well, so it's all good. <laughs> Coming up to more USB type stuff, this is my charging station right here. Give my camera time to focus, there we go. And uh, this is also working out well too. So we have the Anchor 7 port USB, um, still doing his thing, charging everything, keeping everything plugged up. It's a powered USB port, so it's not being uh, overloaded by anything. By filling them up, it's not being overloaded. Uh, another thing that's working out great is the USB 3.0 switch here, which you guys saw in my uh, remote office uh, remake over. And you guys saw me uh, hook this up and get it all set up. It works out great. It makes it so that I can uh, switch over to this guy here, um, which is my Linux dev environment right now this old windows laptop so i tap the button here and i go from big girl over here to my um linux laptop 
And she's doing fine. This is patient. She's doing just fine with my 1660 Super um, water cooling, the 3700X, doing just fine. She does rattle noise because of the way that the pump is set up on the inside area of, these, uh, of the front of the case. I have it bolted to the front of the case. Not the best place for it. And, it, and from time to time, the pump does cause the front of the case to rattle, which is why I have it slightly popped open here at the bottom to try and keep that noise down sometimes. But I'm going to be changing the setup inside there to kind of fix that issue. Some new things that I just reviewed on the channel. Let me step back and you guys can pretty much see it. And that is the uh, Dell monitors here, the 2719 DGF. They are awesome. It is a great feeling to have two good colored, uh, bright, and just great quality monitors. I've actually never had that before. I've always had cheap monitors. I always had some issue or the other, but it's nice to have two good working monitors. And I got them hung up here on uh, this stand, which you guys also saw me do in the remote home setup. And it is still working out fine. Um, I kind of want to put it on two separate, two separate arms. I kind of want to do two separate arms, but honestly, this is working fine. So I don't think I'll do that. Um, a new thing, this is actually a cell phone mount here. And I'm just kind of testing it out, getting a feel for it. I don't know if I like it or not, but it's there. Um, we might talk about that a little bit later. Over here, we have the another video you guys saw me do, which was the Sony A6400 with the Sigma 18 and 35 with the Canon adapter on the back. Love this setup. My wife recently started using it even more for her pictures, and she's really, really loving the setup now that she's actually using the camera a lot more, which is exactly why I got it in the first place for her channel. <laughs> so I'm glad that it's there. But you're seeing it, you guys are seeing this uh, a lot as well here on this channel. I'm using it for streaming, and I use it for uh, videos now as well. Kind of a lot, um, other than what I'm filming on right now, which is my Panasonic uh, G85. I redid the lighting setup here, and you guys are seeing this now. Um, this is how I'm getting that look um, that, that I'm doing the more of a darker look. I remove my lights onto the desk and I've added shelving, bolted it to the wall here. And I'm, I'm, add, I'm slowly starting to add some figurines here. I'm going to need to fill up this shelf and it will be filled up. Um, but, I, uh, but my main purpose was to get more air be able to, to hang things off of the shelving is what I wanted to do. So lights are here now. Eventually a mic will be hanging down from here instead of uh, the way I do it right now, which is, you know, the mic sitting here works great. But for some situations, uh, which is the, by the way, this is the Gator Frameworks. Remember that video? All the videos that all this stuff popped up in, I'm going to link down in the description box. Okay. So um, the Gator Frameworks uh, stand still works great, but for certain situations, I like a bit of a different mic setup. That's kind of the main purpose why this shelving was added. So the lights are set up here and I'm able to now with the camera mounted where it is, I can literally just film a video while still sitting at my desk, which I've never been able to do before. I've always had to do a lot of extra stuff and turn around and get the monitors behind me. You guys know the other, the other setup that I used to do all the time, uh, not in a not too distant past. So I kind of want to make things more quicker, more efficient, be able to crank out more videos for you guys. So that's what I did. Um, but so far, the setup is constantly changing, but a lot of things that I reviewed in the past have worked out. One key thing with this mouse is uh, this dock here. This dock that comes with the uh, Razer Ultimate, if you choose that package, it's more for show. This dock actually does not charge the mouse well at all. Uh, it sometimes charges up and then sometimes it does not. I'm not sure if it has something to do with the way that the mouse is set up or if the mouse gets charged up to 1% and then the charge cuts off and then it doesn't pick back up for a long time until when I come in the morning and the mouse is like 70% when it's supposed to be out charging all night. I don't know what's going on with it, but as far as I'm concerned, the dock is just for show. It, it really doesn't charge well. The mouse works well. The dock, I don't, I don't know if it's worth the extra money unless you just really like the look. The look is nice, about all I can say about it. If you guys notice, there is some Bluetooth earbuds here. I'm testing them out. That's going to be coming up in a future video. Also, over here, hiding underneath the desk, 
right here is an external hard drive that I recently moved my Plex files into. And guess what? It is not doing well. Um, so I have, I'm having some data issues. I've ordered another hard drive. Yeah, that's going to be a video too, because that's been me and data have not been getting along for a long time. So expect that video to be uh, coming up as well. And I do have other things in the works here, more stuff coming up for patients. So there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of things I'm going to be doing, a lot of videos uh, coming in the very near future. So you guys stay tuned for that. But I don't want to run this video too long. I just want to give you an update because I told you I would, especially when it comes to that mouse or whether I'm getting double clicking or not and how everything is working out that we have reviewed so far this year for my re for my remote uh, work from home setup. Any questions you guys have about everything, leave them down in the description box below and I will answer them. Oh, I almost forgot the DAC here. Remember back, remember in the video about the audio, I told you guys I was having tr issues getting the cable out. Um, it turns out it is the cable. I switched over to some uh, cables. I'm gonna link them down in the description box below and they are working out great and I no longer have to fight my DAC to get them out. All right, that's it. That's enough for this video. Uh, hope you guys did enjoy and was informed for those of you who are looking out for this one and I'll be back with more tech videos soon. Oh my God, focus G85, focus. Okay, I give up. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>